Allura.io review. So the tool that I am talking about is called Allura and it is Etsy product research tool. However, it doesn't really matter if you're not selling on Etsy, if you have your own store, you can still use this tool to find really well selling digital products. So let me tell you right away the feature that I really love about this tool and why I am saying that it is a complete game changer. So let's say we go on Etsy and we type in something like wedding planner that obviously is very popular digital product. So when we look at all of these different products, yes, we do have this icon of which products are best sellers. And this gives us an indication that yes, these are the hot products that are selling really well right now. However, we don't quite know how well are they actually selling, how much revenue are they actually generating. And when it comes to all of these other products, we really don't quite know whether they are selling a lot or they're not really selling that much. By the way, I created a blueprint for the best business model out there, so check the description. However, all of that has changed because of the Allura tool, because once you install it, and they have, by the way, a Google Chrome extension, once you install it, you will see now when we hover over a product, you have this icon right here. And if you press on this icon, then you will see the tab opens up at the bottom. And here it actually shows you the revenue. So it shows you what is the estimated monthly revenue for that product. And here, as you can see, it's $2,800, which is really a lot just for one single product. Product. So honestly, this is just absolutely amazing because instead of guessing around and seeing like, okay, this might be selling well, this might be selling well, you actually see the number and you don't need to be guessing around anymore. You can choose what products are actually generating a lot of revenue. By the way, I have created a document of 50 best growth hacks used by the biggest marketers out there. Check the link below. So to give you an example to understand better how well this works, let's say we have this wedding planner that we saw is generating 2,800. If we press on this other one, that's a best seller as well. And they actually have almost the same price. As so you can see, this shows that it, this one is only generating what well, only generating. It's generating 1,600, so $1,000 less, and that is quite a bit of a difference. And then if we press on this other one, this planner that is not a bestseller, what we will see here that it's actually generating $2,500 in revenue. So this is where it can become a little bit tricky with Etsy because the best sellers are not always just based on if they have generated the most sales that specific month. There are a lot of different factors that come into that. And this product, for example, maybe it is a newer product. And as you can see, it's generating a ton of revenue, but it doesn't have that batch that it is a bestseller product. Another really cool thing what you can do with this extension is if you press at the extension button at the top, you will see now that it's going to open all of the products that were on this page. So we don't need to click one by one and check every single product. And here it's going to show you um, all of the different products. And you can basically, as you scroll, it's going to show you more and more open, load more different pages. And it gives you some statistics here. So as you can see, typically, and this is basically the medium of all of these different listings. So usually you have 18 sales per month. The typical price is $25 and this is the typical um, amount of favorites per every single product. Of course, this is the average of all of the different products. And as you can see, um, some of the best selling products, they are a lot more <laughs> expensive and they have way, way, way more sales. So this alone makes it very easy to now just go through all of these products and you can see by monthly revenue um, here we have these products that are generating over $1,000, over $2,000. So it's very easy to see what are some of the best sellers. By the way, just to mention, you can also use the same extension when you have opened a specific product. And as you can see here, it will show you um, all of the different stats. 
the revenue, the sales, the reviews every single month. And the really cool thing as well, um, not quite really that you're finding the products, but I do like that they have this tag section. So it's very simple to see all of the tags for the product and you can just press button and you can copy all of them if you want to use them for yourself. Another tool that is even better and just saves up so, so, so much time. It's absolutely amazing. It's this product seeker. So basically what it does, we can again put in whatever keyword that we are interested in the product. For example, here, wedding planner. And then you have all of these different metrics that you can choose from. So as you can see, you can still have total sales, uh, total revenue number, monthly sales, monthly revenue, price, views, so on and so forth. And you can also select if you want the item to be digital. And what this does is basically this is going to scan the whole Etsy and it's going to find the products that fit your selected criteria. So for example, let's say if you know that your product is going to be priced in a certain range, you can see what your competition is in that price range and whether you can compete or if you want to see, for example, monthly or total revenue, let's say you want to see all the products that are generating at least $1,000 a month this is going to do that for you so it saves out a ton a ton of time instead of you going manually doing this through etsy so now this has filtered out all of the products that have these uh keywords wedding planner and are generating at least one thousand dollars a month so if we scroll down you will see that you have all of these products so instead of going through Etsy and scrolling through these products and checking one by one and trying to find all the best ones. This is absolutely phenomenal because it does all of that work for you. Another cool thing that you can do once you find some products that are selling really well on Allura, they also have this tool that's a keyword finder. And in here, let's say we put in wedding planner and now it gives you some information for the specific keyword. So as you can see here, it shows you the views, the favorites, the competition, sales, price, and shops competing. So again, once you find one of these products that have a lot of sales, you also need to determine whether, if you're going to sell on Etsy, you need to determine whether the competition isn't tough enough and you will be able to compete with those stores. So as you can see for this specific product, the competition is 30,000 different listings and we have 83 different stores. So it's definitely a pretty tough product to compete for. However, another cool thing here is that we can actually go through some of the related keywords. And here as well, what I really like about this is that we can actually see the sales and we can see the competition. So for example, let's say if we look at something like wedding checklist, as you can see, if we compare here, we have 2000, uh, 2,200 plus um, listings for the competition. So a lot, a lot lower, but we still have 230 sales. So that I would say is a pretty decent ratio. So now we go on Etsy and we put in wedding checklist. We can see quickly if there are some products that have a lot of sales. So as you can see, there are some that have a lot of sales, but honestly, at the same time, um, as you can see, this is more of uh, wedding planners. So it's not necessarily a checklist. Okay, this is an actual checklist and it's $200. So nothing like before, not a couple thousand dollars, but still, if it's easy to rank for, then that's $200 just every single month from one single product. So we scroll quickly through this, as you can see, for the wedding checklist, interestingly enough, it seems that there's a lot of wedding planners that are ranking for that keyword because I guess they have the wedding checklist within the wedding planner. So if you have specifically a wedding checklist, something like this, let's say, as you can see, this listing is generating 203 sales. And again, if you specify instead of having the big planner, you have that checklist, 
you could actually maybe, um, I need to have a look at this a little bit more, but you might be able to rank fairly easily for this because it doesn't seem like there are that many listings that are specifically a checklist. So this tool has a bunch of other features as well. As you can see, you have your listing helper, you got your follow-up reminders and so on. But I basically just wanted to show you some of these ways how you can find some really hot selling products. I do have to say that these are estimated sales, so these are not going to be exact exact, but from what I understood, Allura takes the numbers that they are getting from Etsy, plus they have a lot of stores that sign up to use the extension, so they give some of their store information, and they have actually a pretty good amount of data to figure out good estimates of these sales. So if you will want to use this app, then as you can see here, uh, you got the pricing. So you, they actually have a free plan where you can get the tag analyzes, trend analyzes, and the price estimator, but you're not going to see the estimated revenue and estimated sales. Uh, you do get 10 free premium searches when you sign up. And if you want to get more than that, um, you will need to get the premium plan, which if you do annual, it's $14 a month. If you do monthly, it's $20 a month. 